We've got Johnson with the tank top on, and we've got uh, Danish here with the black shorts and the uh, black and white top. And this is going to be a best of three matches. Johnson working the underhook. Dana's trying to work a, it looks like he's trying to work a single. Um, now they both have a single. Yeah, it looks like they both do. And it, it looks like Johnson ends up getting a um, kind of kind of a struggle to get the takedown. It wasn't anything uh, too inspiring, but he, he definitely muscled the move out. Johnson and Danish's guard. Danish holding the head down, grabbing his own foot. He's on the mission control. And jo Johnson's trying to posture up, pushing down on the hips uh, wisely, you know, trying to avoid any possible submission attempts by uh, Danish. Yeah, it looks like uh, at this point, uh, Johnson's just kind of burying his head, uh, trying to, try to keep out of trouble. Is it seems like Danish is really uh, working uh, the guillotine and uh, some of the mission control uh, kind of stuff, you know, a lot of the grips and things. Johnson head up. Now he burns his head again. This definitely seems to be one of those matches where you got a power guy versus a guy that seems to be a little more experienced with jiu-jitsu. Oh, so Johnson taking the, the back. back. Trying to look for a uh, rear naked choke, but a Danish ends up sliding his hip, uh, hips out. Danish back to half guard. Johnson with side control, top control. Still stuck in the half guard. And our beautiful ref decides to push the ropes down to keep them from rolling out of the mats. I called you beautiful, you owe me $20. Johnson working the pass, still stuck in side control. He, he can't seem to get that foot out, you know. Um, makes a big difference. There he goes. Whoa. Johnson with a nice takedown, steps through, knocks Danish over, still dealing with head control. Another definitely leg trip there. It's a very dangerous move. I've seen several legs snap with that type of takedown. Yeah, I've actually done that move before and have uh, hyperextended my knee a little bit. I was limping around for about a good six weeks after trying that move. I was lucky not to seriously hurt myself on that one. Yeah, it's a very highly dangerous move. Time. And Johnson with the win.